Hey you guys, guess where I'm at? My favorite section of every grocery store. Fresh produce. Now today I've got some really cool kind of uh, ideas to help you guys keep your fruits fresh and a like, little bit of a, you know, life hacks for you. All right, so let's get started. First tip I've got for you. Well, how many of you guys like to eat bananas? I have bananas pretty much every day. Um, the problem is if I get a whole bunch of bananas, I can't keep them fresh long enough. You know, they kind of ripen really fast. There's a secret to it. You take the banana, this guy, and you wrap the stem in plastic and saran wrap. Um, the reason being is bananas, they let off uh, ethylene gas. The ethylene gas comes from the stem. Now, if you wrap the stem, it prevents the ethylene gas from going to the bananas or any other fruits around it, and then it prevents the banana from ripening too fast. Now, for your best results, um, you're gonna wanna individually wrap the stem, so take them apart and then wrap them each, and then your bananas should hold off for a lot longer. Try it out. On a side note, if you want to ripen your fruits faster, stick them next to a banana that doesn't have the stem wrapped up, and it should ripen the fruit a lot faster. All right, so second tip for you guys, you ready? Potatoes. How many of you guys store potatoes and then after a while of storing them, they eventually what start sprouting and it's a pain in the butt to kind of peel them, right? There's a trick to it. Potatoes. Take the bag of potatoes and apples. You take an apple, right? You toss it in your bag of potatoes. Now what does that do? That prevents your potatoes from sprouting for up to two months. Crazy, huh? Next tip for you guys, avocados. How do you know when they're right to eat? Look at the step, let me show you. I've got two right here. The one on the left, you can see that the stem, or underneath the stem, is really dark. You can see that. All right, see how it's kind of black? That one's way too ripe. Now we take the one to the right, and you see how it's kind of yellowish, green, it's not totally dark yet. So when it's not totally dark like that, that means you're good to eat it. Next part, the greens, the leafy greens. How do you keep them fresh? Well, if you notice, if you go to the grocery store, they um, have these, I don't know, they get a bath every time, they get a little bit of a shower. That's how they stay fresh, that's how they help keep them stay fresh, not just refrigerated, but once in a while you gotta give them a bath. So if you have greens in the fridge, toss them in the water once in a while, they stay fresh a little bit longer. I know it's a lot, but I've got another one for you. Tomatoes. I know some of you guys love your tomatoes. Now, just like the bananas, the tomatoes have uh, the ethylene that comes out of their stems, so it ripens them a lot faster. So once you cut those stems, it's, it's kind of makes, the tomato makes itself ripen really quick. So if you want to keep them fresh a little bit longer, Wrap them up. Um, now it's a little bit hard to wrap these, or even these. So what you can do is you can actually put tape over the top of it, okay? Now a common mistake of every household is putting your tomatoes in the fridge. Now if you notice, those tomatoes, those tomatoes, they are not in the fridge. You know why? Putting in the fridge can dry them out and make them lose their taste. That's why they don't keep them in the fridge in the store. All right, so fish. How many of you guys like to have your fish? Do I like to cook fish? Well, for those of you who do cook fish a lot, you probably already know that when you cook fish, it tends to stick to whatever surface you have it on. It's a pain in the butt, I know. So there's a little trick to that. You take a lemon and you cut it up in small little slices. And then you put your fish on a bed of lemons. Now it does two things. It adds a flavor, so which is really good. And when you're fish, you try to pull your fish out, it comes in one piece. Give it a try. Last one, this is actually my favorite one because I tried it the other day and it worked really well. Eggs. Now, how many of you guys have boiled eggs and left them on the boiler where the water's all gone? To the point where the water's all gone. I've done that and it's really, really bad. I have really bad memories, so not good. The other night I tried doing this and it worked really well. You bake the eggs for 30 minutes at 325 degrees. You set the kitchen timer and you know when the egg's done. Give it a whirl. All right, and we're done for today. So um, let me know what you guys think of those and uh, try them out because I've tried a couple of them out already and they seem to work pretty well. Now, don't forget to like this, share it. Uh, definitely share this because there's a lot of people out there that are going to find this very beneficial. And then of course, subscribe and then I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh my God.
my god. If I didn't have such good self-control, that stuff would be gone. <laughs> 